You know when you see that new app that blows your mind and you're like, Eureka! By the beard of Chad Davis! Sweet mother Barry! Take my 10 key and call me Logan. Hot <laughs> pot of coffee! QuickBooks on a bike! Well, arm my agents and call me Charles. I'm gonna show you my three favorite blow your mind software tricks for accountants. One, Scribe. May have heard of this one already, but I got a couple ideas for you that will blow your mind. Scribe is super simple. Little Chrome extension, it's this. That's it. Capture the little thing that you did. Remove any of the steps that you don't want in there. Like it made me do a 2FA code. We're gonna delete that. We don't actually want them to type Tom in. So we change this to type your name and email. And there you go. We've got how to invite an accountant. Now you've got that explainer and this is what it's gonna look like if you share it with anybody. Gives you the starting link that we were on. You can add more like narrative descriptions here if you want, but it walks you through each of the steps in a visual way that's gonna be really hard for somebody to get wrong. They'll find a way. But wait, there is more. But I'm not done yet. Here's a big brain opportunity. You find yourself explaining the same things over and over again? Of course you do. That is the accounting profession in a nutshell. How do I mind an accountant user? Can you show me how to log into your portal? Can you change my direct deposit account for me? It gets you thinking, there's a lot of, how do I pay an estimate online? Where do I sign the 8879? Where's my refund? Okay, yeah, so there's a lot of oppor- yeah, How do I upload this file? Can you send me my 2020 tax return? Uh-huh, how do I pay my bill? Okay, and how do I pull a transcript? Can you just call me? Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of things you could probably make a reusable explainer for. Park it in a shared location where your colleagues can get to it too and be the hero. But you wanna know the Omega Brain opportunity here? Build out these libraries, but then share them with other firms. <laughs> so call up your best friends. Logan? What, what are you doing here? Yeah, so listen, I'll take QuickBooks. You build it out for gusto. I just moved to a more non-conspicuous space. I don't care. So can you do the gusto scribes? Get them to build out some of those scribes as well. And before you know it, you're gonna have a massive library of helpful stuff for the IRS, for QuickBooks, for all the common stuff that we all use. Two, uncat. You probably know about this one already, but wait until you see my power user moves. Okay, so if you don't, uncat's super easy to set up. That's it. Now, anytime I put a transaction into uncategorized expense, Uncat notifies the client that you need more information. You can set this up on a schedule. Maybe I wanna bug them every week, every month, every day. That's it. You can set this up to watch any accounts in your ledger. Now, big brain opportunity here. Set up bank rules to auto-categorize unclear transactions straight to uncategorized. Stuff like Amazon, Venmo, Staples, Home Depot, restaurants, transactions where you need more information. Create a bank rule to automatically put them straight into uncategorized. Then as soon as they come through the bank feed, ha! No. The client's gonna get notified about those transactions. So whether you hop into the accounting file every day or once a quarter, client's gonna keep getting notified on whatever reminder schedule you set up. So they're doing the work. They probably think you're doing the work too, but it's all going through automatically from the bank feed thanks to auto-categorizing bank rules. Mm-hmm. Now Uncat also handles stuff like receipt uploads, class identification, and even sending transactions from specific accounts or cards to specific client users. Which leads me to my Omega Brain opportunity. Take a client with a whole bunch of credit card users, add everyone that has a card to Uncat, and point uncategorized transactions from their cards to that user. If you've worked with clients that have a whole bunch of card users, and done the old email in the spreadsheet or whatever for every single card user, you know what a pain that is. Now you can do this for an unlimited number of client users, for an unlimited number of cards within one business, or $5 a month. Five bucks, five dollars. Or just email all 15 people who have a credit card. See, honestly, see if I care. Speaking of big brain moves, you know we like software around here, but you know what I don't like? Fiddly computer stuff, IT. I just want it to work. I don't want it to get in the way of what I'm trying to do. Especially if you have a team of people at any given point, somebody's computer is on fire and I can't handle it. it. Drives me nuts. Which is why I, true story, use Tech Guru for my firm's IT. They are kindly sponsoring this video but I actually use them. So they're an outsourced IT group that just works with accounting firms. So when you're like, hey, I'm having trouble with this ultra tax thing, they aren't like, sweet mother. 
peanut butter. What is this program? Instead, they're like, oh, that old stinker. Yep, we know how to fix this. Now, I've gone back and forth on in-house IT versus outsourcing IT. Definitely upsides and downsides to both, but I can confidently say outsourcing to Tech Guru is the best IT solution I've had. That's it, that's the ad. How am I doing? Am I shilling hard enough? I think so. That was some pretty heavy shilling. It's actually a thing I use. So head over to their site, schedule an intro call with one of their tech specialists. It's Mino like broken computer and you can too. Did you just say Mino like broken computer? Three. Keeper, maybe you've heard about this one. I'm gonna show you why some of the stuff it's doing is wicked smart. So Keeper connects to your accounting file. You've got closing tasks, pre-close, AJEs, bank recs. Look at this, transaction reviews for stuff like expense inconsistency, uncategorized items, stuff you may wanna capitalize. But check out how wild this is. It drills down to like full ledger detail. Shows all the goods from the actual accounting file. It's like your project management system had a baby with your accounting ledger. There's just all sorts of goodies here. Payee entity review, client facing questions, but check this out, buckle up. Hang on, are you buckled up? Buckle it, tighten it, give it a little pull. Check this out, we're still in Keeper. I'm gonna click profit and loss. Wouldn't you know it, it's a mother profit and loss. Let's look at advertising. Oh look, grouped by payee. Let me remind you, we're not in QuickBooks anymore, Dorothy. This connects to all your QuickBooks files, but all the goods are right here. Wanna look at the balance sheet? Okay, am I in QuickBooks right now? No, you are still in Keeper, but I understand why you're confused. So the big brain move here, for the most part, you're gonna be able to move your bookkeeping production team out of whatever your project management system is now. This is your home now, bookkeepers live here. And the technical reviewers, I don't think they even need to open QuickBooks. Now, Omega Brain opportunity, check this out. This is just one accounting file. Go to the dashboard, this is all my QuickBooks files. Whole bunch of them in a list. Look at the stuff we got here. You got your non-closing and pre-closing tasks, AJEs, bank recs, transaction reviews, payee entity reviews, client questions, all in one dashboard view. What month are we on? What's the status? Imagine having your entire accounting practice in one dashboard, showing the date of the last close, number of open questions, all of this stuff. If you are a bookkeeper or running a squad of bookkeepers, this dashboard right now is probably the most useful single dashboard view in our profession. I said it. Name one, give me an equivalent of that to get you all that information in one place. I challenge you. So there you have it, three big brain opportunities. If you, like me, enjoy uncovering big brain opportunities, check out my weekly newsletter where over 2,000 accountants' brains get slightly bigger each week. I drip right on my shirt right before I was gonna start. I'm gonna sh Boop. I think I can cover it up, can I? See the can't see the spot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh now I can. Oh, it's all on how the shirt wrinkles. That'll do. Gosh, that's not. Sweet mother loving loving mother peanut butter. Sweet mother loving. Sweet mother loving peanut butter chucking. Sweet sweet mother loving peanut butter chucking. This is this is. Let's put my acting chops to the to the test here. Uncat's founder just emailed me about that trial account. I used Logan's information. Guess it didn't work. Where over 2,000 accountants' brains get slightly bigger each week. Most weeks. Some weeks that newsletter may make them a little smaller, but most weeks it makes them bigger. Sweet mother loving peanut butter chucking. What is this farting program? Nailed it. If that doesn't win me an award, I don't know what will.